All right, here we are. It is Panther style, March 16th, 2021. Thank you for joining us. Uh, today is, again, it's Mrs. Frazier, our principal, Mr. Geyer, assistant principal, and Mr. Ruiz, our, our famous counselor here at the school. We have three of them, but um, he does an incredible job. So we've got a lot of information for you today. And uh, so hang on, here we go. Mr. Geyer, it's March 16th already. March 16th, can't believe it. Okay, Mrs. Either. Frazier, this one's up to you. Okay, school reopening. Yay, we are getting very, very close. Uh, tonight at the board meeting, the actual date in March will be announced, but we are very, very close. So it'll be one date this month. So, and Mr. Ruiz is going to uh, let you know what the um, site is to listen to the board meeting online, if you would like to do that. Yes, and we we'll are getting, ahead. you want to put that in? Yes, I'll, I'll go ahead and plug it in into the description of the video. So when you're done watching it, make sure to click on it and it'll take you to the Desert Sands uh, live YouTube channel. Okay, and we All have right. we have the four W's, the four W's. First and foremost, welcome. We're so excited to welcome all of you back to our campus and on-site school. We can't wait. So the other three W's are what we are going to have to keep in mind while you're at school so that we can keep everybody safe. First of all, watch your distance, wear a mask, and wash your hands. So again, the four W's, welcome, watch your distance, wear a mask, and wash your hands. And this is the hybrid schedule that we will be following when we start school later this month. So this is the schedule. Gates will open 750 and you will go directly to your first period class. We will be following a block schedule. So on Monday, students will see periods one, three, and five. Tuesday, periods two, four, and six. Monday and Tuesday will be cohort A. Cohort A students will be in person, on campus, in class, on Monday and Tuesday. And during that time, the cohort B students will be distance learning from home. On Thursday and Friday, cohort B will be in person, on campus. And cohort A will be following along in distance learning from home. And this is the Wednesday hybrid schedule. No one will be on campus. All students will access their classes using the uh, distance style, the distance learning style. You will be getting a lot more information about the schedule, rules that we have to follow, procedures. That'll all be coming up in detail. Okay, well, this next slide, oh yeah. Here we go. This is all about parking. Uh, actually, not parking, but drop off and pick up. So we're trying to keep it as simple and easy as we possibly can. Up at the top there, that's, that's in the back parking lot off of Magnesia Falls. We, each grade level has their own zone. So seventh grade is in the back parking lot. The eighth grade zone, is in the bus area, is in the bus drop-off area. And the sixth grade zone, they're gonna be dropped off in the front parking lot, in the main parking lot in the front of the school. That'll be the first time ever that uh, this has happened. So we're spreading things out. Now here's the main point. The main point is everybody just remain calm, patient, and forgiving. Um, try to try to think of it as a way of 
everybody letting someone in rather than to try to get ahead. If everybody just kind of lets someone in and everybody progresses as an, at a nice slow rate, then all students will be safe. They'll be able to get out of their cars and they will be, our students will be safe and the parents will be able to pull away. So the seventh grade zone is off the, in the back park off of Magnesia Falls. Eighth grade zone is in the bus zone and the bus drop off and the sixth grade zone is in the front parking lot. And now we're gonna get a little bit more detailed here. Okay, this is, uh, this is Rutledge Way. Uh, it looks pretty confusing. There's a lot of wording here. However, the red, the red line is where the eighth grade parents will <laughs> drop off, okay? So if they're traveling on uh, Rutledge, they'll pull into the bus zone, drop off at the bus gate, and then pull right on out. Always watching, always going slow, and just keeping it nice and peaceful and patient. And then every, if everybody moves slowly but continues to progress, everything will get done smoothly. The yellow, the yellow circles. Okay, here's what we don't want happening. If you come in on Santalina Drive up at the top there or off of Mersine, we don't want you cutting into the traffic. We don't want you cutting into the line. So those we, we, um, you can drop off in those areas and then have your students walk because we will have, we will have crossing there, a crossing guard. So we just want everybody to be deliberate. We want them to be patient and we want them to be intentional about what they do, but not cut, not get impatient and just be calm and try to have a spirit of letting someone else in and moving slowly. Please move slowly. Mr. Geyer, what happens yes. if I have a, a, a sixth grader and an eighth grader? Which gate do I go in? Well, we would like you to pick one of the two gates. So instead of having to drop off two students, drop off an eighth grader and a sixth grader, please choose one and continue to do that. So whether you, if you drop off the sixth grader with the eighth grader, the sixth grader can go, um, they can just go to their spot on the other side of the campus. But choose one rather than drop off at both. And it's important that they stick to the one they choose because the grab and go breakfast will be at that gate. So we wanna be sure we have enough. That is true. That is true. Good point. Okay. There's a lot of lines there. However, we, we believe that the seventh and eighth graders have already been, we've already been through this. Uh, the, the only thing that we're uh, making different or that is, is different with this is that we're choosing a specific area for the grade levels to be dropped off this year. And for so, the Mr. Gunner, do I understand this correctly, that if I'm coming on Santa Lena, heading towards school, you want me to drop my student off and then they will cross with the crossing guard? And then yes. I would turn right? Well, they could either turn down. right to go to Magnesia Falls or turn right. left. And there, there should be enough room because the, the people who are against the curb dropping off and waiting in line and dropping off, there's, there'll be plenty of room. <laughs> okay. There is a lane against the curb and there is a lane to be able to drive by. And if I'm a walker, I need to choose a gate also. Exactly, and, and exactly. Choose a gate and stick to it. There's only gonna be three gates open. One in the back park, the bus gate, and then the uh, multi-purpose room gate. Got it. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me. Uh, you can write me an email. You can call me on the phone. You can call the school number. I'm at extension 30002. All right, here's another photo. Uh, this is the seventh grade drop-off in red. Now, 
it's it's the same as it always seventh graders it was a, it is the same as it was last year okay we can now things on magnesia falls they put in the um oh what's the name of that uh, oh it's the link. link they've put yep. in the lane so they've basically taken a lane out so things are tight in the back please everyone go slow progress slowly don't come flying through there it's uh it'd be a very dangerous situation if you think you're driving 25 drive five miles an hour slower than that just crawl so that when something does happen if a car door opens if a student is walking in the wrong place or if there's a bike rider or something that you'll be able to stop You'll just be able to stop and it won't be that big of a deal. But if you're traveling too fast, I've seen it way too often that there are people are flying down the street and they're, they're, they're just making it a, 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 actually it's a fatal, it could be a fatal situation. We don't want that to happen. So, okay, so the red, the red is seventh grade, drop off in the back park. Patience, slow, deliberate, intentional. So. You drop off, you're going to go through the east gate. The blue line is for the food. That's where the, the food drop off. Yeah. You go through the gate and go straight. There. We'll have it coned off so that, you know, the first week you'll know exactly where to go. And then after that, you'll already know where to go to get the food. We haven't had a problem with uh, students not knowing where to go to get the food, right? So uh, they'll know where to get the food. It's between the band room and 1157. So just go straight to the band trailer. You'll see a table there and you'll be able to get your food and then go right on to your classroom. Okay. Kind of an exciting time. All right, here's the sixth grade drop off in the front of the school. You come along Rutledge Way, you can turn right into the main parking lot. You'll, you'll be able to do that this year or actually whenever we begin, but you pull right along, right up in the front We've never done this before, so please be cautious, go slow, but you'll be able to come through, you'll be able to, um, and then pull right on through, follow the car ahead of you, not too closely, obviously, and then you'll drop off right there where the blue arrow is, uh, right into the multi-purpose room gate. And then you'll be able to drop off your, your, your sweet, wonderful sixth grader, and then you'll be able to pull right out of the parking lot. Please be cautious because right where that blue arrow is, we have students that walk on that sidewalk. We have students that ride their bikes. We have students that skateboard. We have students that ride their scooters. Please be cautious, be ready, go slow enough. I, I would say 10 miles an hour max. Just pull through, keep going, but pull through nice and slow because you never know when someone's just gonna, a student is just gonna jump out in front of you. It's, it's unlikely, but it happens. So, and then if you're coming off of Portola, uh, I, myself or Agent Rivera, we will be out there where the blue arrow is. Um, please don't just cut the line. We will, we will have uh, someone out there, either me or Agent Rivera to, help merge the traffic. If it becomes a problem, what we'll do is we'll just have you go all the way down to the end of the line and then pull around um, and then just follow the other line in. Please don't drop your students off on the south side of Rutledge Way and then have them jut across the street. We don't want that to be happening. So please and, be very cautious. And Mr. Geyer, so sixth yes. graders know um, we know that this is their first day of school on our yep. campus. So please don't worry. We will have teachers out and Mr. Geyer will be there, Agent Rivera, but we will have teachers who will guide you to your first period class because we know this is new to you and you haven't been on our campus. So there'll be lots of people to help you. Yep. And if you have a question, you look for the nearest adult and just ask them a question. And it is okay if you're not sure of where you, because there'll be all kinds of hustle and bustle and you'll get confused maybe. And, but never fear, we've got people out there to uh, take care of the situation. Who is that guy holding that sign? 
I think it's an important message. Oh, okay, Mr. Ruiz, take over. Sure. Um, well, we're at the end of the, the third quarter, um, and that's this Friday. So this is actually crunch time. Um, today or tomorrow should be, for most of the classes, the deadline to submit any missing assignments, just allowing teachers enough time to look at them and grade them and turn in their grades by this Friday. So students, make sure that um, you look at your grades and you make sure that everyone, everything checks out. If there's any assignment that you know you turned in and there's maybe something missing, this is the time to talk to your teachers. Um, this is the time to wrap everything up. Any last sentences on an essay, get them finished and get them turned in. Um, they'll make an impact on your grade and this will be the end of the this quarter. So uh, for those sixth graders um, in the wheel, we'll start new classes on Monday. Um, same thing in a few of the sciences. We'll have a few more rotations on, on Monday as well, coming up after the end of this quarter. Okay. And um, just one last thing. I think the report card should be available maybe by Monday or Tuesday next week, correct? Right, correct. Okay, awesome. Well, there's Mrs. Boyle again. Okay, so we've got this awesome book drop in the front of the school. You, you drive into the front, you can't miss it. It's that royal blue color. Um, please no Chromebooks. Please don't put the Chromebooks in the book drop. We, we would really appreciate that. Uh, just books and then Mrs. Boyle will be really happy. She gets her books and then you can check out more books. <laughs> Mr. Ruiz, can you go back a couple of slides? Oh. We missed some, missed nine and 10. What was the? That's the uniform information. Huh. I must have received a different file. Okay, I'll tell you real quickly that. Okay. We've received a lot of phone calls um, about uniforms and when the store will be open. <clears throat> Again, you buy your uniforms from Impression Design and they are open from Monday through Friday, nine to three. You can also order online, you can call and the information is on our website. The um, the store is located on Merle Drive off of Cook. So it's very close to our, um, to our school. And again, the website and all the information is on our website. Okay, well, and then I'll go ahead and talk about the, the LPAC testing, which we are very near completion. Uh, tomorrow should be the last day for students to, to complete their test in the group settings. There's still a few students that are being um, making appointments for the individual speaking portion. So make sure that your students attend for those. Uh, some of those are in class setting, depending on their humanities teacher, and some of those they're having a test administrator. So tomorrow we should be done with this portion and we can move on to, to the other stuff for this year. Let's finish off the quarter in good standing. We're excited. We're almost yep. finished with LPAC testing and we're really proud of our students who have worked hard. Ooh, and then uh, it's that countdown to the lottery. Uh, so our deadline is April 2nd. So that's coming up in a few weeks. Um, so more for our current students, if, if they have any siblings uh, who are expected to join us next year, uh, make sure that those students get an application submitted by their parents. Uh, so that we can um, count them in as as candidates for our school and they could be part of the lottery. Um, that's the limit for April 2nd. After that, um, students end up falling on a wait list for our school. So right now is the time to have control of your destiny, submit everything on time so you have a better opportunity to not have to worry about any, any other issues down the road. Okay. Uh, 
Panorama survey <clears throat> results are available and you can still participate in the Panorama survey. Here's the um, website. We're always interested in your comments and your concerns. Um, please, if you have not answered the Panorama survey, uh, do so. And if you have any suggestions or uh, responses to the survey results that we have, uh, we're interested in that also. Oh, look at that. Love that mask. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to find out what the temperature is in Lyle, Illinois, huh? How about that? But um, yeah, we all always want to always want to finish on a uh, with gratitude. Um, just so fortunate just to be talking about coming back to school. What a great thing. What a great thing. It's been a year and um, we'll find out more tonight at the, uh, the governing board, the, the governing council tonight. Hope people are, are able to join. And right now it is rainy and 37 degrees in Lyle, Illinois, 37. But uh, again, we're just uh, grateful to, to be associated with Palm Desert Charter Middle School. Uh, Mrs. Frazier, do you have any, any uh, parting words? Just I'm really, really excited and can't wait to see um, all our students on campus with masks like this. So it's gonna be great. Okay. Yep. Have a great day. Thank you all.